Hi again. Today I'm going to be talking about the laser tag that I did yesterday for my friend's birthday party. We went to this place that was called Respawn, Tactical Laser something or other, and it was really cool. I've never done laser tag before. Honestly, I've never done any of this like cool like hide behind a wall and basically real life Call of Duty. Also, this is a different pair of glasses. I'm kind of like breaking them in right now. So we go to the laser tag place. It's me, my friend whose birthday it is, my friend who I did the zombie apocalypse video with, a kind of friendish person who isn't on like the best of terms with me, and the birthday friend's friend who I don't really know too well. There were five of us total, me and those four friends. We all went in and stood in line and right behind us comes this group of like six-year-old boys. And there was another group of like older guys, but it was mostly little kids, little boys. There were no little girls. And my friend turns to me and she's like, well, did you pick a title for yourself for this? And I was like, no, when was I supposed to do this? And I was like, oh no, I really wanted to name myself Pool Noodle, but I didn't have a chance. So I had to go as a guest. So I couldn't keep track of my score. Not that I had a device anyways. I don't have a phone. Yeah, you like level up when you get like more kills or you die less or whatever. If I really cared, I would have like stolen a friend's phone. We got three rounds. They're 30 minute rounds. We got a blue ticket, green ticket, and orange ticket. My tickets all said 007 on them. So obviously I'm James Bond. And we were waiting in this waiting room and this lady comes in and she starts giving us instructions. She's like, oh, like this is your gun. Like this is what you're supposed to do with your gun. Like here's the reload button. Here's your number of your gun. It'll say how many kills, how many deaths, no running, no this and no this and this. Like here's the rules. Yeah, that was me yesterday. We went in after waiting for a while. We gave them our one of our colored tickets and they started like giving us the rules again and telling us what type of game we're going to play. And we picked up these guns and they're freaking huge. As big as like an AK-47 gun. And around each of the guns, there was a little headpiece and it had like little blinky things on it. We were supposed to, whatever color it starts blinking after they randomize us is which team we're on and we had to go to that respawn point. Yes, it's like Halo. First it was like just team battle like with your laser tag gun. You had to hit the other team members four times to get a kill. You got a point added on to your team. The room is about, it's pretty large. It's about the same size as an average lot for a house. I got pretty wore out running around that place. They built walls. It was kind of like maze-ish almost. You're standing in there waiting for the, for the game to start and then your gun, it says locked and loaded. So you're supposed to run out after your team when you're supposed to get the other team. So I was on the red team first and I was mostly for the most part on the red team or the green team the same side that we started off when we heard the rules and the blue team has to go all the way across the room and it's indoors of course and gosh i suck i got killed a bajillion times oh and i had to wear a bandana the whole time i don't know why apparently they just didn't want their headgear to get disgusting which i understand at one point we had to play this game called zombie apocalypse or something like that and it was great the friend of a friend was chosen to be a zombie <laughs> I kept running around looking for her, but I couldn't find her. I didn't even see her. That's how big and windy and mazy the place is. There was us, the red team, and the zombies, the two green team. Two of them. So we won kind of by default. I didn't get any kills, and I wasn't killed at all. And in the zombie version, if you get killed, you have to respawn as a zombie. So I didn't become a zombie, so I win. There was another one that was just snipe free-for-all, one-hit kill. You just run around and you respawn on the spot without having to go back to your respawn area. It was awesome. During that one, I freaking stepped on a kid, like a little tiny kid that needed their parent to help them wander around. This poor little kid like starts crying and well he was already crying before that but like I want to go home. Someone should take me home. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm scared of the dark. I don't like all these gun sounds. Like I'm pretty sure that kid got escorted out. I mean it was in the dark. Like you can't really see people unless you see the light color of their gun. And we worked up a sweat and we probably smelled really bad and were like really gross and like damp. We did three different games per round. Like there's a sniper one, there's a free snipe for all, there was a double tap one, there was a zombie one, there was this machine gun spray one where all you gotta do is hold it. It's the same gun the whole time, but it just works differently. And I definitely felt exercised, but then we like went back to my friend's house and had snacks and cake and ice cream. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, laser tag. I totally recommend it. It was awesome. They're awesome. They're in Bakersfield. Uh, I don't know if they're anywhere else, but I will definitely link to them. In the description and if it's a two-story place because this one wasn't you should totally stand up on the second story and just in a little kids running by just pew, goodbye pew, goodbye pew, goodbye do it it's fun in the comments tell me about your most awesome experience playing laser tag do that